separation of hip hop, and it's like, yo, what the fuck? Like, all that shit is ours. Yeah. Like, why is we not going to break some of this ours where everybody get to where it's no if force people, even on a creative tip? Because I see people, and I'm like, dog, like, you're not even no street nigga. I understand there's entertainment, but it's like, you'll be more successful if you told them the story of your journey and your life, bro. Right. And you just rap that. Like, you ain't. You know, I mean, so you know, it's like people go. It, it goes back to when you say, you know, not sticking together. One yeah. and two, it goes back to the easiest route in rap is to go street, like to talk street, to act street. It's just easier. It's harder to rap about that. Is it's really easy to talk like, about like, booze just booze. Going on life because people really don't. A, you're not doing anything at all, and it's it's overpopulated with street music, so you can listen to enough to know how to. Baking soda, Arm and Hammer, like you get the ingredients from just listening to shit. That's mm-hmm. a little mm-hmm. like, A lot of niggas don't do anything in life to know what to rap about anything else, you know? Absolutely. Most people, you start rapping, you start rapping about things that you don't have yet. You know, cars you don't have yet, money you've never made. So you don't really have the right amounts when you're rapping about certain things. Nothing's right except for shit you listen to, you know what I'm saying? Until you finally start making some money. Then your rap's a little bit more accurate, you know what I'm saying? You, Prices you talking about for a watch is not like you hear a nigga saying, "My Rolex three thousand, like nigga, Rolex isn't three thousand dollars." But you don't know that because you never had one. You know? Until you start making the money and everything starts then becoming a little bit more accurate. So most people take the approach of street nigga, street uh, trap. It's because rap is like ideally when someone says rap, the first thing that comes to mind is trap. Yeah, street, 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 and it's easier, it's quicker, it's like it's just it's like. It's like a, it's a blueprint already made for it. So that's why it's so much more of that Taking than it would like be it. my lane or someone who raps about just other things. But that's why but that's why I feel like you, you came and you skyrocketed like you did. Well yeah, well I, I think I came and skyrocketed because we changed rap. My generation completely changed it. hundred percent we changed the rules. We we made it like my whole thing was to make it so that rap didn't have to be so angry. <laughs> you know, it was so hood, it was so strict, so gangster, so I'm a kid. I like that. I mean, he, you already he said it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I would, he said his goal when he came into the music industry to make rap not so angry, not so goddamn violent all the time. Like, you ain't gotta be mad all the time. Like, you could rap about happy shit. I'm fucking with this nigga even more. I was already fucking with him. And I came and I was like, this were things I was genuinely going through. Like, I, my daddy was taking Minnesota, was fucking freezing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just like, I was just like finding shit to talk about. You know what I'm saying? One night, I didn't want a girlfriend. Like, I don't just want you. I was just, whatever I was going through or some shit that I thought was funny or cool was what I was doing. You know what I'm saying? Plus, I love melody. You know, I didn't grow up listening to a lot of rap. I listened to a lot of melodies. I love melodies. So, that was my thing. You know, so. And I just wanted to shake shit up, you know what I'm saying? Like, and, and prove that, like, it's possible. Did you know you were shaking shit up at the time? Well, when it's... Because you're young, you know what I mean? Most people hated me. No, I didn't get any love. It was nothing but hate, especially after the whole Biggie thing. It was no love, you know? And, and that, my words was taking so out of context. But I wasn't discouraged because I still wanted to... I looked at myself, like, as a voice for you, you know what I'm saying? Because like, no one from my generation would do interviews. All the old heads and all these radios would, would turn them. They would turn our words and try to turn us. And they, they tried to divide the, the newer generation. He ain't lying though. Because after him, after him and Uzi, after I seen them do those interviews, I think I think they both went to Ebro. I think after they went to Ebro, that was when it was like, that was it. I ain't really see too many other young people do interviews. Like, I ain't see Trippy. I ain't even really seen no Trippy Red interviews. Glock, Glock, I mean, Key Glock. Um, just a lot of them, bro. Like, he, he ain't lying, bro. Them niggas scared them young niggas from doing interviews, dog. Because them niggas was different, dog. I fuck with some young niggas. I tried to sign me one, but he tripped on my ass. He flipped on my ass. But that's another story. Generation and older, but that's why I continue to do them to let people know. Like, that's not what it is. And a lot of people thought we were so dumb. And a lot of people thought the new generation, I can't speak very hard, but they think we were like these drug addict, stupid, mumble rap. That's why I always do my interviews. So like, I'm very articulate. You know what I'm saying? I'm very smart. I'm very intelligent. And I can rap. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I continue to do them, even when a lot of people was trying to break me down and, 
and say, oh, well, he didn't have any hip-hop background, and he never heard the Tupac album, and he da da That has nothing to do with the craft. It's art. Right. And at the like, end of the... says to a painter, have, have you seen the Picasso in real life? If not, then your painting's invalid. Your art's invalid, because you never actually saw the work. It didn't work like that. And, and nobody, and you can't tell a motherfucker that, you know, uh, he can't come on the basketball court because he don't know Michael Jordan. He didn't see Michael Jordan play. You feel what I'm saying? And, and one thing about our platform, we not that we not them old heads. Yeah. You know, we understand that it's a drought on thorough old heads out here. You feel what I'm saying? We understand that it's a drought on, on old heads that's not living in the fucking past. Yesterday's old when you saw them going to shoes, you didn't understand them. No, I didn't. You don't know what the fuck's going on. I didn't understand the goal. I mean, at the end of I the day, do. at the end of the day, I don't hate on the youth. <coughs> we embrace the youth because we we. Gilly the kid is a Leo. I'm a Leo. He don't be hating on nobody, bro. But I'm gonna tell you like this: if a motherfucker start hating on him, he go hate on him back. Not even really hating, but he just gonna disrespect their ass. That's what I do. Motherfuckers start disrespecting me, I'ma disrespect your ass back. Period. But this nigga funny as hell, though. I ain't gonna lie. We understand that we not trying to compete with you. We trying to eat with you. It's a total difference. And that's me right now. I ain't trying to compete with you. I'm trying to eat with you, but if you wanna goddamn lose, that could be arranged too. <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? It should be family. Right, and for us, it's like y'all niggas is like our our nephews. Like we the old heads, y'all like our nephews. We just trying to elevate in in any way we can help what a motherfucker got going on. That's that's all we trying to do. You feel what I'm saying? We don't bring the youth, the young guys on here, attack them, try to see where their knowledge is at in certain places. We comfortable with who we are. Absolutely. We not, I'm, I'm not. You know, I don't have. You know. Like, oh damn, I'm looking I'm not looking at you as in competition and none of that shit. Right. I'm looking at you, how could you educate our audience? How could you educate the community? Give them some game about how you done it because like I said, there's a lot of kids out here that don't want to be themselves. You right. know what I'm saying? But let's get into this. And, and how can you tell right. the next yachty? You feel what I'm saying? Right. That nigga, this is this, you could be you and still win out here. I mean, I think the thing I I I, I, I it, it it blows my mind when people blow up when they are copying someone else. You know, like, it blows my mind that that even works nowadays because it's like, I think the music is, not music rappers, like, very oversaturated. So it's like, the, I feel like the easiest way to get in, break in with, is to be different. You know what I'm saying? Like, to do something different, whether it be... You heard that? The best way to get in the rap game nowadays is to be different. I already know. Soon as my shit get heard by enough people, bitch, I'm gonna pop because why? I don't sound like you niggas, man. I sound like Tig two times. Speaking of that, subscribe to my channel. Right now. Right, right now. <laughs> Be visually different, like, you know, with your art, artwork or videos, or sonically different, like, with your sound and your cadence or your production. We gonna go ahead and pay some bills real bit, real quick. I say real bit, real quick. I'm thinking about a lighter. Um, and when we come back, it'll be part two of the Lil Yachty million dollars worth of game, baby. Let's get it. Let's go.